Hey everybody, it's Brad. Uh, in this quick video, we're going to learn about the Circle Template uh, tool in Floriani Total Control. Um, just go ahead and open up your Floriani software, click on Create a New Design, and uh, let's start. So what this, um, this tool does is it'll take an embroidery design and repeat it around a circle for you automatically and keep everything lined up. Uh, and it'll also color sort the design and make it so that it's ready to, to sew out. Um, so this this works generally um, you'd use like a small design and uh, the software comes with a bunch of little tiny designs uh, built into it so we're gonna go to our symbols tool up here at the top it looks like a club uh, like in a suit of cards and we are going to click on the little arrow next to it and choose select okay so left click on that and uh, this is a list of designs that are built into the software that we can use um, to do um, make make little kind of um, embellishments uh, onto other embroidery designs. They're good for going around lettering and um, stuff like that. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to go through and pick one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, uh, I'll do this little trumpet here. So you just click on the, the one that you want and choose OK down here at the bottom. So I'm going to click OK. And my mouse is going to turn into a little crosshair. So you bring this design in by left clicking with your mouse so left click and hold and then you move your mouse to uh, move it to the right or if you move it down it goes down up it goes up I'm gonna move mine to the right although it doesn't matter what direction we end up putting this in because the circle template tool is going to put it uh, is gonna rotate it automatically so you make it the size you want I'm gonna make mine about a half an inch or so um, and now I've got my little trumpet so there's my trumpet so to get this guy to go on a circle, you are going to hit the circle template tool, which is right up here. This is it. It looks like a, a bunch of circles going around a circle. Um, and when you hover your mouse over it, it says circle template. So we're going to left click on that. Um, and here we have uh, our, let's see, by default, it does it to 200 by 200. Um, that's the size of the circle. Now that's not the size of the design. The actual design itself is going to be a little bigger than that because the circle um, is 200 by 200. So if you look down here, it says final size 212 by 212. So you got to be careful if you're making this for your 8x8 hoop, which would be the 200 by 200 hoop, um, you would have to go and uh, make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to make this a lot smaller. I'm going to do 100 by 100. Um, so it's going to be just over 4x4 four four, um, final size. And when you make changes in here, nothing is going to happen to your preview until you hit apply. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. There we go. And um, so now my circle is smaller. Um, and these lines that we're seeing, those are the jump stitches. Okay, so just um, be aware of that. That's not going to be like an octagon around it. Those are, those are um, jump stitches. So down here uh, under settings, we can change the number of um, items on our circle two ways. We can either set the, the, uh, the repeats right here. We can increase this number by just clicking the up and down keys or you can type in a number if I know I want 20 I can just hit 20 um, and then we'll hit apply and see what that looks like so now I've got 20 little trumpets all going around in a circle or if we change the angle here this is going to automatically change the number of repeats okay not sure exactly what the angle is that we're changing when we do that but uh, it does change the number of repeats when you change that um, so I'm gonna stick with 20 trumpets I like that hit apply here so I've got 20 little trumpets and then under individual path settings, the scale is going to be how large um, relative to, you know, the size that you brought it in, the, the trumpets are going to be. So if I increase my scale here, say to 110%, hit apply, it, it's made my trumpets a little bit bigger. Um, and then the angle, here's where you get the, the really fun stuff. If we change the angle here, we'll change this to, uh, say, 50 and hit apply. See how it is automatically rotating all of my trumpets around um, around the circle so we'll change this again we'll make it a hundred say this will go all the way to 360 to do um, you know rotate all the way around uh, so now I've got all my trumpets are kind of marching around in a line together um, and uh, yeah so that's really how, how you set this up um, so we've got some choices in here we can do auto rotate on and off if I turn off auto rotate they all end up going the same angle they don't automatically rotate all the way around the design so I can change my angle here change it to 150 and see they all are rotating at exactly that um, you know so so they're all going one direction so if you want them to do the other thing 
you need to make sure that you have auto rotate selected which it is by default I'm going to set this back to 100 because I like that better. Now, the other one down here, auto resequence by color. This is a one color design, so it doesn't need to be resequenced. But if you have a multiple color design, and I'll do one of those in a minute to show you this, um, you always want to make sure that you hit auto resequence by color. That way, it doesn't sew out each individual design. It'll do, you know, all, like if this was, say, yellow and pink, it would sew all the yellow and then all the pink uh, as long as you have that checked. Um, so if it, with a one color design, it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna hit um, we're gonna hit OK here, and it brings my trumpets in. So there's my trumpets, and they're all ready to go. So um, the only thing that I would want to change on this is the entry and exit points um, for for each one of these. Uh, if you look, we've got these big crazy jump stitches going from the end of the horn all the way to the end of the next horn, and that's because of the way the start and stop points are, or um, they call them entry and exit points uh, for this design. And um, uh, originally, I thought that what we were going to have to do was manually go in and set the start and stop points, but Floriani actually has a cool automatic tool for this. So uh, anytime you need to um, change where the the needle goes in and out of a part of a design, you can actually go right over here, um, these uh, series of red boxes, there's an optimize entry exit point button. So watch what it does when I click this. I'm going to left click on it, and boom, all of a sudden I only have these little tiny jump stitches in there. Um, and uh, that's a much better situation than the ones that reach all the way over the whole design. Um, so that's a that's a good that's a good thing to remember that you have that um, optimized entry exit points. It's it's a pretty useful thing. So anyway, so here's my trumpets. Now I, I want to show you the difference between if you um, if you hit that auto sequence thing or not. So I'm going to delete these trumpets and uh, I'm going to pick a different design. I'm just going to go in and select something that has more than one color, like say. Well, going to do the flower, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. You know what I like, though? I like this candy cane, so I'm going to do the candy cane. I'm going to pretend it's Christmas time. Um, so there is my candy cane, um, and I'm going to go ahead and choose my circle template tool, and there's my candy canes. Uh, I'm going to make the circle smaller again. Uh, incidentally, it doesn't have to be a circle. It could also be an oval. If you turn off the aspect ratio here, and we set our width different from our height, We've got an oval, so you can you can do that too. I'll just leave it as an oval. Um, increase my repeats so I get more of these guys, um, and then I can change the angle that they're rotated at. So you can actually do it in small increments and see what you end up with. We'll say I'm satisfied with that because what I really want to show you is the difference when we do auto resequence by color and when we don't. I'm going to not auto resequence by color and just hit OK. And so here's my candy canes. Now what we're going to do now is hit the, um, where is it, the slow redraw. This simulates sewing. So I'm going to left click on this, and we're going to actually watch this sew out. And look what it does. It sews the white. You can't see it because the white's background. Uh, but then the red, then the white, then the red, then the white, then the red. That would be so many color changes. That would be no fun at all. You don't want to sew this out that way because you'd be sitting there all day trying to sew this thing out and switching your colors every time. So when we do it the other way, bring my candy cane back in and bring back my circle template tool. If I hit auto resequence by color and say OK, then when you sew it out, let me go to my slow redraw, it sews all the white and then all the red. Okay, so it's a much better way to do it uh, because then you um, you know you don't you, you only have t one color change essentially you know you do the first color and then you put in the other color and and then you're done so that's cool I like that they let you do that um, and that's how you use the circle template tool thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video